morning. Block morning blog time. It's five o'clock in the morning. Um, we've just arrived. There's somebody else already here at the top end. I've just come on my local pond at Clipston just to do five or six hours just on the method feeder. Uh, I'm on Lake Three, which I've fished before. I've actually done another video on this lake before. I have. So it's a lovely morning. The mist just peeling off of the water. So I'm going to get my gear out of the car, get set up, and then I'll get back to you in a bit, people. But yeah, buzzing, fishing again. Nice. Right people, just a little update, I've got all my kit out, all set up, um, there's fish everywhere, there's carp all down here, all down this side here, all down this side here, even out in front of me, there's a set up. And basically, all I'm doing today is I'm fishing method feeder on my 911 Shimano Beastmaster. Uh, Joro feeder actually, not method feeder. Joro feeder. But I'm fishing with a 12 pound mainline and a 10 pound up length. Drennan double strength up length. You've got to eat it because last time when I was fishing with 8 pound mainline, an eight and nine pound up there, so I was just getting smashed up and because it's straight into these reeds so you can't give them anything but tactics like I say a little Joro feeder with a ring is chocolate orange I've got some green dynamite bait swim steam ground bait which I prepared last night I've got some scratching pellets what I prepared last night and then I've got a couple of change up baits, some krill, and some oozing pineapple boilies. And that's basically it for today. I'm going to stick to just fishing with the, with a the method feeder, Joro feeder. I'm not bothered getting any of the rods out. And just give that a bash. Right, I'm going to get started. So I'll catch you in a bit, people.
got really quiet again, hasn't it? It's like you're getting little tiny indications and that's it. That's all I keep going. Yeah. To get where I'm in. I've had a couple of knots, I've had two knots. Yeah. You had some of them hybrids as well? Yeah, I've had a couple of them bigger ones out there this morning, first off. I hadn't had no, so I'm just filming the lake and that one walking around. But I hadn't had no, all I keep getting now is little tiny nudges and it's them little tiny skimmers. They're like hitting the feeder, but they're not picking the up bait up. And I've tried everything. I've tried smaller baits, bigger baits, lighter baits. So I'm going to have a couple more casts, I think. Nip up to me van, put me bag on charge and then a couple more casts so I'm going to clear off I think. He normally always does well there, that bloke over there, doesn't he? Yeah. Last time when I come last year he was fishing that peg there, he was, he had a load of that. Fishing feeder down that side. For our waggler fishing when I come last time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's it, isn't it? Oh, oh yeah, bloody hell down both sides of me. So you can see him playing his dead. There must be, there must be 25 on him down there to the right of me. There must be another five or ten in the side. Yeah. Yeah. Did they? I know when the water was right down, I walked round there one night and I'd just come up for a ride up before it was getting dark and some of them bigger carp I could see right out in like the middle. Yeah. You know where the water level had gone right down? Yeah. That was a good one what he had, weren't it, not long ago? Yeah, where? That must have been about, what, 18 or something? I think he got snapped off on one though, didn't he? I don't know. I, don't know. I, I think so, yeah. I've had Yeah. That, that one I had this morning is about, well, I don't know, six pound, five and a half pound. Yeah, there's, there's quite a few around about that mark. Yeah, I think they're the ones that tear off, to be honest with you, aren't they? <laughs> when you've got the slightly bigger ones, you get like a good bend in your rod, but you can, you can just hold them there, and they just seem to come in a lot easier. Them small ones, they just shoot all over, don't they? They're that quick at getting into it, reads. I'm not even using my bait runner down there, I'm not, because... You give them the bait runner and that's it, they're in the reeds, aren't they? You know? Not, you know, it's not worth it, is it, down here? Do you get what I mean? Right, I'm going to go and put my fag on charge and have a couple more casts and that's it. Yeah, so everybody's pretty much the same. It started off well this morning, but... Up now it's, uh, I've had about 15, 20 pound of fish I think, probably a bit more. It's got me out of the ass anyway for a few hours. I'm going to put this e-cigarette on charge. And then uh, a couple more casts. And that'll do. It will.
Right, vlog time. I've just packed all my stuff up, which is down there, which I've got to go and fetch, because you're not allowed to park on the grass along here, so you have to come all the way up to the car park, drop your stuff off, come all the way up to the car park, park, and it's the same thing when you're packing up, you've got to pack your stuff up, leave it on the bank and then nip up, pull up on the road alongside and then pack up there, bit of a nightmare, but... Uh, I had more than what I thought he had actually. I think altogether that cart was about six pound. Uh, there was a couple of big hybrids in there that was probably about four pound. Um, and then there's some skimmers, smaller skimmers, bigger skimmers. I think I had about twenty five pounds or something, about twenty seven pound or something like that. I would have said more than what I thought. I ain't done too bad, I've done better than anybody else apart from that bloke down the bottom. But that bloke down the bottom, he fishes it regularly because he was here last year. He's had three, three stonking carp here and he's been snapped off. I lost a carp as well but I've enjoyed it, it's got me out for a few hours anyway. But the trouble is all the carp are spawning. Carp are spawning like crazy down the side of me, right and left hand side. So rather than me being tied up to the reeds, I weren't. I was out a little bit further, hence why I was catching mainly skimmers. Um, but I was geared up really for the carp, but I didn't expect them to be spawning when I got down here, so and I didn't want to risk changing in case they hooked a carp and get snapped, you see. So but I'm going to go and pick my stuff up and head off home now anyway. So uh, and this has been on Clipston Pond on the Not Say A book, this is. I should be back again anyway. Leave it a few weeks, let them get the spawning out of the way, I think. I don't want to be fishing for them if they're spawning. Alright. Don't forget to like and subscribe, people. Um, and if you've got any comments, leave some comments. Um, but that's it, I'm going to sign off for now. Until next time, I don't know where I'm going to fish next time, so tight lines, screaming reels, and happy angling.